praise the Lord. I'm coming with today's scripture affirmation. It's coming from 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. Walk by faith and not by sight. There are situations that we find ourselves in where we're waiting and we're waiting and we're waiting. Or we find that things that we've been praying about or believing for seem like they're getting worse and not better. Or they seem like they're not changing at all. But we have to remember that as believers walking after the spirit, spiritually minded, trusting in the word of God, that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So because we're believing in it in faith, it means that there's some things that we can't see in the natural. It's some things that won't don't look like they're changing. It doesn't seem like God heard your prayer. It doesn't seem as though that thing can ever turn around. It may seem that the obstacle is too big, that the mountain is too high, that the that the gap is too wide, that the that the situation is too uh too broken up and and it's been destroyed to the point of no return. But we have to walk by faith and not by sight. We're not looking at what it appears to be in the natural or what it seems like in our kernel mind or what the news says or what the doctor's report says. We're trusting God that he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. And so we're reminded today of Abraham and Sarah that were given the promise. Abraham was told that he would have a son. But they waited 25 years after the age that they should be giving birth to a child. We look at Joseph that was given a dream. And in the midst of him waiting for this dream, he was sold out by his brothers. He was he was taken away from his father. He was put into a foreign land. He was serving under Potiphar. He was lied on by Potiphar's wife. He was put in prison wrongfully. He was accused of rapist. He was, he was at the point of no return. It seemed that everything was against him and not for him. It seemed that the dream was nowhere to be seen. It was nowhere that he could look, that it would look as though this dream was ever going to come to pass, but it did. It was 20 years before it came to pass. It was 13 years before he got to the palace. The thing that we have to remember is that we walk by faith and not by sight. The woman with the issue of blood had this issue for 12 years. The Bible says she had gone to all the physicians, spent all that she had, and she didn't get better, but she got worse. But the Bible tells us that she heard about Jesus coming by, and she believed that if she could touch the hem of his garment, that she would be made whole. After 12 years, sometimes we've given up after 12 minutes, after 12 weeks. But this had been 12 years of her not getting better, but getting worse. But we can't be moved by what we see or the doctor's reports or what it appears to be because things are not always what they appear to be. When Jesus was on the cross, it appeared that he had been defeated. It appeared that it was over. It appeared that it was hopeless, but it was only the beginning of what was to come because if it had not been for his death, there would have been no resurrection. So we have to remember that sometimes it seems worse before it gets better. Sometimes it seems like it's stuck, but we can't see everything that God is doing. So we walk by faith and not by sight. Our faith is not in the situation or in the report or in what people say or what we think. Our faith is in God who's able to do everything that there's nothing impossible for him. So we walk by faith and not by sight. That means we're focused focused on God and not the situation. We're focused on God and not the circumstances. We're focused on God and not the report. We're focused on God. So if their marriage seems like it's getting worse, if your child seems like they're not coming to Christ, but they're going further out away from the word of God, if it looks like that job isn't working, that business isn't moving forward, that ministry isn't what God showed you, that thing is not coming to pass, that that child that you're believing for, that, that household that you're believing for, that need that you've been praying for, that deliverance that you've been believing for, that that open door that you've been trusting for, that thing that God showed you that it seems like nothing is drawing you closer to that thing that you saw in the vision and the dream that you know that God had purpose for you. Believe this. God is able to bring it to pass. If he brought you to it, he can bring you through it. If he gave you vision, he'll give you provision. Everybody belongs to him. Everything belongs to him. He's able to do all things. What's impossible for you is not impossible for him. But your faith has to be in the one who made the visible out of the invisible, who is able to do things that man would never be able to do and he does it his way because his thoughts and his ways are much higher than ours so remember this this is the scripture affirmation for today you confess it you live it, you believe it, you meditate on it, you speak it over your household, over your family, over your walk, over your job, over your ministry, over your health, over your finances, over your over your gift, over your talent, over your purpose, over your dream, over the path that God has set you on. I walk by faith and not by sight. I walk by faith and not by sight. I walk by faith and not by sight. And so you remind yourself, it's not what it looks like. It's not what I see. It's not what I hear. It's what, that I trust in the God who is sovereign, a God who's in control, a God who is creator and sustainer, the God 
God that sent his son to die that I can live. I'm trusting in the God who is able, who can open doors no man can shut and shut doors no man can open. I walk by faith and not by sight. Whatever it looks like, when people tell you it can't work, it can't happen, you can't be this, you can't go there, you can't accomplish that, you can't change. Oh, I walk by faith and not by sight. When it looks like that person you've been praying for isn't getting better, but they're getting work worse, I walk by faith and not by sight. It looks like that person that you're believing to get delivered from that addiction, that habit, those ungodly associations, but it seems like they're going deeper in. I walk by faith and not by sight. It looks like things are going for the worst, but really God is working it together for your good, perfecting that which concerns you. It doesn't look like it, but you walk by faith and not by sight. You remind yourself the scripture affirmation, the scripture confession, the word over your life today. You confess it, you believe it, you live it, you stand on it, and you continue to remind yourself because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And God's word says in 2 Corinthians 5 and 7, we walk by faith and not by sight. Walk in it. Don't just say it. Don't just be a hearer, but be a doer. Walk by faith and not by sight. You say it and then you do it. And you say it and then you do it. I walk by faith and not by sight. Don't forget the word for today. Confess it and speak it throughout this day until you get it in your spirit. You get the word in you so you can walk in the word. Remember that you can join us every morning from 6 to 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for morning prayer and word to begin your day in the presence of the Lord. Cast in your care on them, standing in the gap for your family, for your loved ones, standing in the gap for those that are unsaved, backslidden, broken hearted, grieving, and, and those that need God and no, no, don't know to call out for them for themselves. So join us. The information will be under this YouTube video, but continue to grab hold of these affirmations. Subscribe to this channel if you want to get a notification each time one of the scripture affirmations is uploaded on my channel, but you want to get this word in you because there is power in the word of God. There's power in the name of Jesus, there is power when you are connected with God, but you can't get to the Father but through the Son, and Jesus is the Word, because in the beginning was the Word of God, and we know that in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus is the Word. So when you get in the Word, you are positioned in Christ, you are walking in victory, you are an overcomer and more than a conqueror through Him that loved you. So remember today, I walk by faith and not by sight. I walk by faith and not by sight. I walk by faith and not by sight. God bless you.